Hello again, Alex from Barefaced here with Louis from Barefaced, and we Ooh. have two 1x12 ABD Barefaced caps. This one here, they're plugged in so I won't wave them around too much, is the Reformer. This is our most popular model. This is the Usurper 112W. As you can probably guess the W stands for wide. So that is the same dimensions as our Usurper 210 guitar caps, that's the 2x10 version, but with a single 12 in it. And that is mostly so that if your amp head is too wide to look right on the reformer there, you can have a wider cab. So it's aesthetically satisfying. Because at the end of the day, no one says, I'm going to go and hear a band. People say, I'm going to go and see a band. <laughs> Oh, that's <laughs> depressingly true. Actually. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, I'd probably buy this because it would fit my head better than that would. Yeah. But yeah. No, it's, it's relevant. Exactly. But logically, they should sound a bit different. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let's find out. Okay. Reformer first. I think yeah. we're in. Yeah. <laughs> for like the last 10-20 minutes it's wild I, I can't tell what it is but there's something drastically so different about it you think that that this is like boomier but less punchy in the low end and this is less woolly in the low end but a bit punchier but less low yeah. in general I mean we swap them in the room as well because obviously the room modes affect things at low frequencies um, by the way this is being recorded through a rather nice mic mounted on top of the camera it's a Rode Video Mic Pro Plus so it's pretty much flat response when you consider its listening position but this is very much a room sound from here because if you want to hear what cabs sound like then you need the room there's no point just hearing the tone of a specific mic pointed at a specific part of a speaker you know yeah. if you want to hear what something sounds like in the studio close mics with a specific mic then fair enough but you want to hear what these sound like so this is much more like true um, yeah. so this has more enclosure volume And this has less enclosure volume. The ABD on this is slightly less tall vertically. The sum total of those two things should mean that this, the Helmholtz resonance on this is at a lower frequency. Right. So this resonates deeper. So the low frequency gain you get from the low frequency component of the ABD yep. should happen at lower frequencies with this. And I think that's what we're hearing. We're hearing more reinforcement up towards the mid bass, low mids with that. This is the E, right? The resonance on that cab is roughly tuned to low E? It is somewhere around a low E, yeah, yeah, you're right. Because I mean, that makes a lot of yeah. sense. Yeah. So I wonder what that is coming out at. But I think it's probably down at D or something. It, it doesn't, you right. don't have to move a tuning frequency very much for it to have a fairly drastic effect okay, on right. the response of a cab, particularly as the speakers in a guitar cab roll off at a certain frequency and they have their own resonant frequency and when you put the yeah. speaker in a cab you change the resonant frequency of the speaker because the air spring of the enclosure pushes back on the cone itself and yeah. that effectively s reduces the compliance and raises the resonant frequency of the speaker so that's why speakers behave differently in open practice in different cab cabs yeah. and different cabs of different sizes so yeah to me that sounds deeper and bigger, but that sounds fatter and rounder. It's got some body to it, yeah, yeah, even though that does have more depth. It's so strange. I will say that I'm not sure how much that will be noticeable. It's a funny one. As you play louder, it might be more noticeable, but once other Always. people are masking you, like your bassist, right, and the bottom Singers end on the drums, brass, keys, whatever. brass, yeah. I, I mean, I was saying earlier, for me, potentially, it'd be even more, like you said, live, You might it might be negligible, but in the studio... I was saying like the difference between that and that is like the choice of a different microphone. Put some dirty sounds through it. Yeah, let me just do like literally one chord. Okay. And... Like yeah, when you're in the studio, that's the difference between a type of preamp or a, um, this microphone or that microphone. It could have quite a drastic effect actually. 
both these speakers for V30s, obviously. Obviously, we're doing yeah. this demonstration with different with the same speakers at the same yeah. impedance. Yeah, that would be silly. <laughs> One of them's fresh out of the box. Ah, uh, true. But that one hasn't been played much. When? Was that? We put we put that one in just now. Just now. That was put together, like, what, last week? Okay, it so they are exactly both fresh. Hasn't been played all Okay, so they are both fresh V30s. So yeah, for the, most the part. other variability we have is, is the fact that speakers do vary a bit. And I, yeah. I, I don't know how tight the tolerances are on guitar speakers. Judging by how people are talking about Celestian's current V30s, I think the tolerances are pretty tight. Right. But I don't know. Without There's another video, if yeah. anyone cares enough. Um, let's get that. People are saying get this era of... Four reformers and four V30s fresh out of the box, see if we can tell the difference Actually, apart. any difference, yeah. Um, and we could do the same. We could, we could run one in and do a broken yeah. in versus a fresh one. There's another video. There's definitely stuff there. Yeah, cool. Uh, let's, yeah, let's do some dirt, because I'm getting a bit, a bit of a nicer top end on this. That's got still quite a lot of top end, but it feels a little bit brighter than this one. Uh, yeah, you see, that's not the sort of thing I'd expect to be changed by the cabinet. At all because if you're talking more lows would change you well, lows and maybe how the mids behave out the back but the top end all is all coming the real top end is all coming off the dust cap and that can only come straight out straight out the trunk because the back of the, the dust cap isn't visible on the back of the cone no. so the high frequency radiation um here i'll wave a sweep around what we've got here g12 amp look if you look front of the cone most of your treble high treble comes off the dust cap and then the lower treble is coming off the rest of it but if you look at the back of the speaker, the dust cap isn't visible at all. The dust cap glues on, and then that centre of the cone is what disappears into the voice coil. Um, so, yeah, the front radiation, you get everything. The back radiation, you've only got the cone. You haven't got the cone and dust cap. Yeah, so mids so, and lows. I yeah, guess yeah, maybe it's... Lows. I mean, lower treble, but... Maybe <clears> it's to my ear, it's that you can hear it more because there's less mid in the... Do you see what I mean? It's relative yeah. to what is there and what isn't, potentially. I yeah. don't know. That, that's the thing that I think. If, if you get... If you boost the bass, it tends yeah. to sound like there's less mids. Right, exactly. Even though there's not. Yeah, totally. Uh, that, that's why people go, oh, yeah, I want loads of, I want a really fat sound, and they just roll the treble off. And I'm like, well, <laughs> doesn't work like that. Yeah. So this is the uh, Usurper. <laughs> My summary is get the one that looks right. I'd agree. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. I, okay. I haven't told him to say that. He's no. he's, he's quite unpredictable. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's just members of staff with their own mind, and you're like, yeah, having, don't uh, rehearse things and then <clears throat> do things on camera and be like, oh, please, please don't make me do another edit when uh, no, we don't, I make we you don't say edit. something on pain <laughs> of death. Having gigged with these cabs, well, the Uprising specifically, but I have done the reform as well for God, years now. They just sound massive, they sound great, and I think, yeah, that, that change is going to be so minor in your mix, and as long as you can hear yourself, which you will through one of these, just whatever's, well, also things like loading and stuff like that, size of stage, that's all, all considerations. Yeah, I'll just show you, I'll just pick them up and wave them around. So that's... There we go, so here we have... These, these have both got V30s in, which are... Um, Heaviest driver Celestian make. Um, so there we go. Oh, da, 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 da. Let's come back so you can see it. So it's not a huge difference, is it? No, they're the same. Um, same depth. Is the reformer slightly taller? Yes. By like what? Like not a lot. Five. Well, 
Yeah, I'll see them. them. Right. Out of shot. Right side by side. There we go. 10 mil? Yeah. 20 mil? 20 mil. 20 mil. 30 mil. Not much. <laughs> Less than an inch for yeah. those of you on the other side of the Atlantic. Yeah. And between a certain latitude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, American. The rest of us use sensible measurements. Though well, I, I do quite like inches there. Or well, luthiers. Luthiers. Ben's gone, Ben's gone to inches. He says oh. it does make more sense with scale length and setting up guitars and neck relief. Yes. No, I, I kind of agree. Apparently it does make more sense. I don't know why, but there we go. I mean, I ride mountain bikes, <laughs> and my bike yeah. has 29-inch um, tyres yeah. on 622mm um, rims. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> that's really irritating. Yeah. But yeah, a little um, bit smaller. <laughs> yes. Yeah, cool. Interesting. Well, there we are. I like that. Thank you. More videos to come. So that was two identical speakers, we think. They're fresh V30s from this year's manufacture, because we, Celestian are only just the other, well. Are they just about in the southeast? They're over. No idea where they are. Which way are we looking? Uh, you're looking west. They're over there. <laughs> this is Brighton. We're in here. And that's, no, that's north. Celestian yeah, are over that's, there. That's north, yeah. Hello, Celestian. But they're about 100 miles oh, well, that yeah. way. So, um, But they're fresh, freshish. They're fresh. Eight fresh eight from Celestian's UK warehouse. Well. The V30s are made in China nowadays. Mm -hmm. A lot of their drivers are made here, but the V30s are made in China because they sell a lot of them. But they seem to sound very good and be very yeah. consistent. Yeah, they're great. Cool. We'll be back with another video demonstrating more things and things that probably sound a lot more different and thus will be more interesting. Yeah. See you next time. Bye.